Bardelsky, founder at Million Dollar Party Girl, and I am back with another episode of Social Girl Live. So tonight we're going to be talking about the five PDFs that every direct seller should create, and this will help you get ready for your fall holiday season. Number one, drum roll emojis, please. How about a how to or a tip PDF? So this is something I created today. Let's see if you guys can see this. I just made this up. I do not sell jewelry. Nine ways to wear this awesome necklace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for the drum roll, Kay and Dee. Nine ways to wear this awesome necklace. Like, of course, I'm cracking myself up, right? But one of the biggest questions I get from my Facebook party book is, you know, if you guys are reading it, you know, my, my, my secret sauce is to have a call to action where people text you for a free gift. And I constantly get messages from jewelry reps saying, I sell jewelry. How can I possibly give a free gift? This is how you can do it. This is your free gift. Tell people that you will send them your nine ways <laughs> to wear your awesome necklace. And of course, you know, fill in the blank. I literally just made this up off the top of my head, okay? And these are all images from Canva. These were actually all free images from Canva. And of course, what you are gonna do is take your own images, take pictures of yourself wearing a product. It could be five ways, it could be three ways. You decide. Kay is taking it and run with it and she's doing a recipe book for layering option, options for lip scents. I love that, right? You know, make this your own. So what else can you do with this? This could also be an opt-in for your Facebook page. So you could have a call to action to join your email list, join your Facebook group to get your nine ways to wear your awesome necklace. Ignition. So this is our certificate. And yes, Canva has a certificate template. I think I made this in about five minutes. <laughs> okay. And it was free. All these, all these designs, completely free. So this is a certificate for Holly Hostess. And I love this. It says, Certificate of Awesomeness. <laughs> like, who does not want their Certificate of Awesomeness? Okay, like, I would totally work for that. And so this is for your 500 Club Hostess. It could be your 700 Club, your $1,000 Club, your $300 Club. It depends on your party average. Whatever your average is, kick it up 100 bucks or 200. And that's your superstar hostess. Now, again, you can mail this to her, which I recommend you do with a little thank you for hosting. But you can also, the great thing about Canva, you can download this as a PDF for free and as a JPEG. Not only could you do recognition for hostesses, for customers, but also for your team. You could have a superstar consultant, superstar leader, the list goes on. We know that recognition is a huge motivator. And for zero dollars, <laughs> the cost of printing this out, you can use that to really get some massive results just by instituting recognition programs into your direct sales business. Number three, extra credits. So this, we talked about uh, achievement certificates. How about gift certificates, right? Now, how would I use this? This is $10 extra hostess credit. You can just make this up yourself. And again, adapt this to your business model. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay, Shannon say, saying sure does. And it says, enjoy this Christmas treat, voucher valid for qualifying parties 
held on the original date. See where I'm going there? <laughs> this also helps you prevent cancellations. Okay, saying if they get 25 R, yeah, that's perfect. You get 25 people RSV paying by a certain deadline. So again, you decide what you want this to be. Now, where can you use this? You could use this at a vendor event, right? You're trying to book more parties at your vendor event. This is your carrot that you dangle for people that pick those party dates on the spot. They walk home with your extra $10 hostess credit certificate. That again, helps you hold those parties because they're not getting it until they have the party, okay? <laughs> so it helps you book parties on the spot at vendor events. Where else can you use this? Well, if you have a catalog coming out and you're mailing them to repeat customers, maybe your top customers or hostesses from last year, never mail a catalog without a bonus gift. And this is how I booked up my entire new season. I would send my past hostesses and my top customers a bonus certificate, redeemable when they had their next party, you know, during that, that next <laughs> Have season. you ever used a help want it sign? I'm typing that in so I can put that off on the screen. Never vendor. <laughs> without your help when it's signed. So or if you're doing vendor events or and or home parties, it's Christmas in July. We know that thousands and thousands of people start looking for part-time jobs right after Labor Day. And so always have a help when it's signed on your table, on your vendor table, if you're doing a home party, on your home party table. This is so simple to communicate. And if, guess what? If you're a VIP member, <laughs> you can find this in the files, already made for you on our VIP group. So here's what it says. Let's do this, right? Super fun and simple. Interview today interview today. Learn how you can earn $1,000 by Christmas working part time. Now you notice it doesn't say join my team. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> join my team has been so overdone on Facebook posts that it's starting to sound a little cultish and scary. <laughs> okay. Everybody understands help what it they get that. Join my team. It's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. If, is, it a, is it a cult? I'm not quite sure. So <laughs> Kay saying, I hate join my team. Yeah. If you can avoid join my team at all costs, then please do. All right. So here's what you do. You take a gift bag in, of course, a holiday color or your branding color. If you guys have watched my YouTube channel, you have seen my secret to setting up an awesome vendor table. I just staple this to the bag, and now I have an easy display for my sign. And it folds flat, weighs nothing. <laughs> and because it's attached to a gift bag, it makes your table look so much more fun than everybody else's table. People go to the table full of gift bags, even though there's no presents. Okay. Of course, you'll, you will be doing some presents, but interview today is also um, language that you can start incorporating at a vendor event, at a party, because again, it sets that expectation that I'm just not taking everybody and anybody that says they want to buy my kit. I will interview you and see if this business is a fit for you. It's a whole psychology thing, right? The more we sound desperate, the more we chase people away from us. The more we make it sound exclusive and, um, you know, interview only, then the more people want it. <laughs> people want what they can't have. It's psychology 101. So you could do interviews on the spot at your vendor events, especially if you're vendoring with your direct sales buddy. And there's two of you. You could have somebody doing interviews and you could have somebody running the vendor table.
And the same thing, if you are doing your home parties, let people know that you'll be doing interviews at the end of the party and then like go into the kitchen and say, you know, come on in if you'd like to do a quick five minute interview to see if this would be for you. And that's just a fun activity while the guests are shopping and you're waiting for those orders and you're, you know, like twiddling your thumbs, <laughs> like, what do I do? Use a time to sponsor, right? And just recruit on the spot. Okay, so that was number four. Number five, you wanna have that marketing piece for those people that are interested, that have done an interview. Oh, I just dropped my stapler. That have done an interview with you. You want to have a sponsoring takeaway piece. Um, something that you can send them home with. Now your direct sales company might have something, which would be awesome, but a lot of companies don't. And when I started in direct sales, um, we created most of our marketing materials ourselves. <laughs> so, and this is one of the things we created and it is called the 10 most commonly asked questions. This is like my go-to sponsoring takeaway piece. And here they are. And you guys know what they are for your business. You know what your customers are asking. If you don't know, talk to your leader, right? Do a little brainstorming. How much does it cost to get started? Always number one question. What kind of support and training is there? How much income can I earn? Are there opportunities to advance and lead a team? Now, most people don't ask that, but I put that in there because I wanna plant that seed <laughs> they can advance and earn more money by leading a team. Do you offer incentive trips? Yes, Rihanna's saying FAQs, yes, love it. Um, so, you know, again, you could brainstorm with your team and say, hey, let's, let's come up with the 10 top questions that people really wanna know when they start this business. I created all of these on Canva. Actually, the only thing that cost me any money was this graphic and it was a dollar. <laughs> Everything else I created for free, but you know, look how professional this looks. And of course, make sure you're putting your contact information on everything, right? Don't forget to do that. If you're, you know, you probably want to create two, if you're a leader, a blank one so that your team can put a sticker on it or, you know, add their contact information. And then of course, one for you, but it's great for somebody to have that takeaway piece, and I'll tell you why. They're gonna be all excited after you had your interview or your phone call or they attended your opportunity event, and then they're gonna to have to talk to their husband. <laughs> He's gonna want the scoop. He, these are the questions the husbands want to know, right? On top of that, have you ever bought a car and they gave you a brochure or anything new that you bought that was some, you know, some kind of investment, right? After you buy it is when you tend to be going through that brochure and like looking at it over and over and over again, because you're so excited, right? Prior to that, you might've sat on your table. Once you buy things and you want things, that's when you start to get excited and you, you just want more. <laughs> you want to have more of it. And so that's why if you don't have a marketing or takeaway piece from your direct sales company, you really need to create one because people are visual. Seeing it in writing is just one more way that you can help the information that you gave them be absorbed. And now they have something when their husband says, what are you doing now? They've got the answers because that's the reality, right? No matter how excited they are, the hubby's gonna want the answers. Um, so there you go. Those are the five PDFs that you want to start creating right now if you haven't already for your direct sales business. Get ready to launch your most awesome fall holiday season ever. And um, I made all of these. You can do all of these with Canva. Super easy peasy.